Guardian now, Nick, and my main concern with this story is the meaning of the word dozens. Interesting. Yeah, go ahead, but please. Dozens of Home Office staff under criminal investigation uh, FOI data shows, and you're, you're saying that it's far more than dozens. No, of I'm saying it's two and a half dozen, and that, to me, is not uh, quite right. dozens. I no. don't know why, but I feel you need well, to have three. three. Yeah, yeah. You three. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, you're right. Um, good point. So it's, it's the uh, ACCIU, mm. who are the Anti-Corruption Criminal Investigation Unit, and it turns out there were 16 allegations, and there was a further 18 under investigation. There's already been two criminal convictions. And these are for things like immigration crime, which is quite bad if you're in the Home Office, I imagine, fraud and drug offences. Mm. And so I'm not, I'm not quite sure why the Guardian's going with it. I think it's because they think it's an attack on the government. But I see the Home Office as kind of the yeah, world yeah. people scuppered yeah. all Swella Bravman's plans. So, of course, they were off drugging themselves up. And... That's exactly how I read it. I was shocked it was in the Guardian. I wonder whether it was, a, a, you know, whether they shot their own feet. In the... It's exactly what you're saying. Yeah. If this, the Home Office as a department is not... I love this not echo totally... chamber. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, the biggest corruption in the civil service is the fact that they defy elected representatives. Yeah. Like, we don't vote for the civil service. We don't vote for those, for those mandarins in Whitehall, but we do vote for, for the MPs who make rules, like the Rwanda scheme, and yeah. then the civil service turn around and say, they, they openly say, we're not going to, even if it gets passed, we're, mm. we're going to do everything we can to stymie it. And, you know, obviously this was the theme of Yes Minister and Yes Prime Minister, so it's been going on for a long time, but it was interesting, I think, that a lot of people thought when it came out, Yes Minister was a satire on the new Tory administration, which had come in a couple of years earlier, Margaret Thatcher. But apparently, According to the writers, I read a book about it, it was all written under Harold Wilson. So it was a kind of satire. So it, what I'm saying is it's not always the left-wing civil service that muffles the agenda of a government, mm. a right-wing government. It's actually they just muffle them, whatever. Right. I mean, I don't know. If it's, what, you know. what are they going to do to muffle Labour? Yeah. I mean, they're, they, they both, they're both completely ideologically aligned. Yeah, terrifying. We isn't need it? checks and balances <laughs> urgently. <laughs> Will they put through Starmer's agenda or just also defy Starmer? Quite interesting. Yeah, yeah. we are going to find out.